Hi, it's Rick here from The Game Creators and uh, a new update to show you what I've done to the game this week. Uh, I've had a few hours today to be able to work on it. So, one of the key things is I've added some score and lives text objects. You see if I click there, you can see it's a text object and uh, it's using a font that I've downloaded from a, a website. Um, I'll just show you that website. It's called thefont.com it's this font here. So I just downloaded it and uh, copied it into the media folder and uh, then dragged it into the scene. So having done that you can then select different types of fonts. There's a default font and that's the one I chose. I changed the size of it. Let's have a look how I've dealt with that in the code. Quite a few changes to the code actually. But uh, I've got some text controls here update score and lives text so I set text string game score and game lives to the score plus the current value of score and the current value of lives so there's a new global variable that added to the source code go back to the top of the code you can see I've got score high score lives I'm also loading in some sounds so load sound uh, pickup coin dot wav and load sound pickup watch.wav and those are two sounds I use depending on whether the green ball is going into the green bucket or the red ball is going into the red bucket. If they're going to the right coloured buckets they play the pick up coin. If they go into the wrong bucket I play the pick up watch sound. And those sounds are from the App Game Kit Classic sound library. So I just copy those over. Let's go and see how I deal with the sounds. Yeah so I deal with the sounds um, when I'm checking to see whether the ball's gone into the bucket or not. From previous tutorials we had this ball check routine. We check if it's gone off the bottom of the screen and we also check to see if it's gone into the left and right collision buckets. So if it has gone into the left bucket then we check to see if the ball colour is zero which is green. If it is then it must be the right colour because the left bucket is green, then we play sound 1 and we increase the score by 100. If it isn't then obviously the red ball has gone in the left one, so we play the sound 2 and we reduce the number of lives. We then do the same for the right collision, so if it's uh, ball colour 1 which is red then yes it's right, play the sound 1, increase the score by 100, otherwise play sound 2 and reduce lives by one. So if I just run that you'll see that the logic that's happening. I've also made this one move so that's gone into the right bucket. This one's going to go in the wrong one. Different sound. Correct sound. Yeah I've started moving this one to make it a bit more interesting but uh, not quite got this right yet. So scores are going up. Oh that's going in the wrong bucket. I've lost another life. I need to turn that one. So I've got one life left. It's getting a bit faster now. 800. Let's see if we can get to a thousand. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ah. And then game over and back to the main menu. So let's just see that game over. Well, I've added a new scene called gameover.scene. Just a simple scene with some text, again using the new font. Go back to the main code. What I've done is I've extended the sort of main loop. The main loop now includes the start menu. So I've got this big do loop. But at the bottom of this loop I'm doing a check. So this is the main loop that runs the game. And if lives equals zero then we must have run out of lives. So we come out of that loop. And then we just check to see if the score is greater than the high score. I'm not displaying the high score at the moment, but uh, I've got the logic there. Then I clean up the game scene, and then I start the game over setup scene, and then I just wait 100 sinks, and then I clean up the game over scene, set life to 3, score to 0, and game start variable back to 0, and loop back up. And this takes us right back up here where we call the main menu and wait for the user to press the start button again. 
So that's all the work I've done on it today. I'm not quite happy with the game really. I need to do more thinking about how it's going to work better. But you can see it's coming alive. It's got some sound now. It's got some menu structures. Let's hope next week I've got more to show you. Okay, bye for now.